We are here in Old Harbor, Jamaica. The name Old Harbor tells us the story. Hundreds of years ago, during the Spanish occupation, Old Harbor was the main port of Jamaica. Ships of every European nation passed through here on their way to and from the Spanish main. The ships and their crews were searching for gold and a passage to the east. An active reciprocal trade was also taking place at that time. Ships returned to Spain loaded with cargoes of lard and hides. Jamaica's first export was lard and hides, not the famous rum for which it is known today. In 1494, when Columbus landed at Seville on the north coast of Jamaica, he released a few head of cattle and some pigs on the island. By the time the Spaniards returned in 1503, they had multiplied into millions of heads. They roamed the island freely, living off the lush grasslands. Lard was obtained from boiling the pigs, and cows were slaughtered indiscriminately for their hides. Old Harbor is still busy today, but the traffic is in cars, trucks, and carts. The little town is constantly jam-packed from one end to the other, creating a bottleneck in the main road that passes through the town on the way from Kingston, the capital city. Hundreds of years ago, ships stopped coming to Old Harbor. The reason is that over that same time, the sea has receded steadily, deserting the Old Harbor forever. The sea is no longer here. As you can see, the traffic here today is of a different nature. All sorts of trading takes place now in this teeming town center far away from the sea. No one would ever believe that the sea once covered this area where I now stand. Today, Old Harbor is a market and trading town on Jamaica's south coast, the sea miles away. You can see immediately that it is a busy inland metropolis remotely related to the sea that once made it a harbor. Over 500 years, the harbor has disappeared. The sea has receded a distance of two miles from where I now stand. The sea's recession was not noticeable over that period for several reasons. First of all, it did not take place all at once. The progress was slow and timely, but relentlessly progressive. Over the successive hundreds of years, the slow recession of the sea sealed the fate of Old Harbor as a harbor anyhow forever. Today we are going